Hey, I have, an, I have a rap album coming out. It's all beats that I made. The verse of it written in five minutes. It's just, uh, it's fun. I make music the, the worst and least professional way, which is audacity. Everything is in audacity. There's no, like, BPM option, but I'm just so used to it. And I... Mushy Master prefers mushy versus mushy, but concedes that according to the dictionary, either pronunciation is acceptable. What are you, from the condiment family? Where's your brother salt or your sister ketchup? Hey, Mama, play me a jailbreak tune. Come on, as a favor. I'm done rapping about hating mimes. Instead, this song is about doing crimes. I went to the store and stole a candy bar, but I didn't want to get caught, so I threw it really far. I also do lots of other crimes. Now I will list some of the crimes. I saw some random guy and I stabbed him in the face. I stole someone's wallet, then stabbed him in the face. I also burned down a building and stabbed the owner in the face. Then I went to McDonald's and tried to rob the place. When I was done, I stabbed all the customers in the face. Doing crimes is lots of fun. I will shoot you with a gun and do many illegal acts. I won't even pay my taxes. Doing this is risky cause you may get killed, caught by the fuzz and then you will get put in jail. Criminal behavior fell. <laughs> don't care. I don't care. Don't care. I don't care. Don't care. I don't care. You can't catch me, dude. Doing crimes all the time is my favorite little game. If you aren't doing crimes, then I think you're super lame. I'm a career criminal, and ain't in the shame. I never get caught, cause I always train. I stole from a gas station quarter past three, three bottles of lube and a bundle of spare keys. They went to a truck right outside in the lot. Threw the lube in the bed, then I sped out the plot. Name, I named my son Arson, cause I love to burn. So does my wife and my grandpa, we keep him in an urn. He didn't even die, we just incinerated him. My other son, well I named him Jim. My third son, I named him Rob, though. Doing crimes always makes him sob, though. <laughs> don't care, I don't care. Don't care, I don't care. Don't care, I don't care. You can't catch me, dude. But I got caught and was taken in a cop car. We had to go to the courtroom, which was not far. The judge had said I committed a crime, so I'll have to serve a life sentence. Hard time. It's all over now, and I'm taken to jail. They led me down the hall and said, welcome to your cell. This is how it goes now, I'm living in the prison. But that doesn't mean that I won't carry out my mission. I gotta make big bucks, even when I'm locked up. So I go around, and I sell the other inmate stuff. I found a cigarette on the ground, in the yard, and I was offered seven dollars to have it taken off my hand. I got my own empire here, I'm gonna be rich. So now I know, I go to jail if I have a wish. But I can't stay here my whole life, yo. I have my homies on the outside, so I gotta go. By keeping me in jail, aren't you really trying to lock up the darker side of your own nature? I hear they're gonna give me the chair, and maybe even a lovely matching table. Broke out of jail today, oh how? I turned my cellmate into a cow. I know it sounds crazy, but a fairy godmother came to me. She said, I know it sounds crazy, but you better use my magic to flee this prison cell. And I said, oh yeah, how is that gonna go? She waved her wand, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. For you see, at the ends of my hands are in a scaffold device. And I said, oh, I see what you're trying to entice. I'll turn into an ant and crawl out between the bars. She said, no, 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 how did you pass the bar log exam? Our reality isn't so simple, and the only way to get out is to bend the bars until they're bent way, way out. I said, okay, I'll turn into a gorilla, and that'll do the trick. And she said, oh yeah, this power always makes you an awful. I said, fuck, man, what am I gonna do? That's when I noticed my cellmate taking a snooze. I said, heh heh, fairy, can I use the device on others? She said, now you're cooking with butter. I put the cube on my cellmate's head and she started to change into a cow, and that's how I made my escape. The cow was moving the bars when it started to grow. I was so big, the bars bent, and that's when I go, go, go. You may ask if I have any regrets. I said, no, because I'm out, and my cellmate was a bitch. Don't care. I don't care. Don't care. I don't care. I'm out of here. Don't care. I don't care. You can't catch me, dude. Don't care. I don't care. Don't care. I don't care. I'm out of here. Don't care. I don't care. You can't catch me, dude. Probably a good deal. Um, 
ਕਾਵੇ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ ਕਾਵੇ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ ਕਾਵੇ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ Mom is a good deal fatter than most. It's a good deal to exchange bread for toast. And five bucks is a good deal for a toaster. I don't want to boast, but when I was playing poker, I got a roll flush. That's a good deal. Found an HOK CD for a buck. A steal. If you find a good deal, don't be afraid to shake hands. Anyone who disagrees is a fake fan. Probably a good deal. Don't save your cashier. Probably a good deal. To tell the cashier. Probably a good deal. Pennies for cashmere. Probably a good deal. That's a good deal. Probably a good deal. Don't save your cashier. Probably a good deal. To tell the cashier. Probably a good deal. Pennies for cashmere. Probably a good deal. Don't save your cashier. Probably a good deal. To tell the cashier. Probably a good deal. Pennies for cashmere. Probably a good deal. That's a good deal. Do you know where I can get a really good deal? At the Tartar Place. Yes, near the high school. The lunch special is just around eight bucks. You get enchiladas and tartros, all kinds of stuff. On Tuesdays, the dark tartros for twenty. $1.28, but the 30th is more if you want it with cheese, so I don't even bother with that, but that's okay, I'm lactose intolerant. When it's midday and I'm on my lunch break, every time I, I go to the restaurant, I can't wait. Every time it's lunch special, because I'm looking for a good deal. Sometimes I also buy me a soda, but the cap doesn't twist, you need a bottle opener. Luckily, they got one behind the counter, and they're really nice about letting me borrow it. Probably a good deal, you save your cash here, probably a good deal, to tell the cash here, probably a good deal, pennies for cash me here, probably a good deal. Okay. Shadow the Hedgehog Body Pillow? Now that's a deal that'll take some skrilla. Way cheaper than those lame sweatpants though. When something isn't for sale, you can't get a good deal, you know. I like shopping a lot, I really do. Really self-reflexive on the wrapping too. I'm always at the surplus of Kung Fu. Looking for shurikens and katanas for two. It's a good deal if you can get something for less than free. I like getting money for spending some tree. Does tree mean money? IDK, I think it's weed. Either way, weed for cheap, that's what I need. I dropped $20 on a Skylander. It was kind of embarrassing for what I paid for. A hunk of plastic and the head came off twice. That's what I get, something for video game mice. Probably a good deal, you'll save your cash here. Probably a good deal, to tell the cash here. Probably a good deal, pennies for cash me Probably a good deal. Good deal. Probably a good deal, you'll save your cash here. Probably a good deal, to tell the cash here. Probably a good deal, pennies for cash me Probably a good deal. Probably a good deal, you'll save your cash here. Probably a good deal, to tell the cash here. Probably a good deal, pennies for cash me Probably a good deal. Probably a good deal, you'll save your cash here. Probably a good deal, to tell the cash here. Probably a good deal, pennies for cash me Probably a good deal. The first drink I had was a quarter. This next verse is about my favorite drink, so it's about milk. What else would you think? When the day is over and my energy is spent, I gotta get some of that 2% at the grocery store. If I'm feeling wild, I'll sip on some milk gallons in the aisle. So when I get to the checkout after all the milk I had, I pay to put a dozen empty cartons in my bag. There's another secret that I try to hide. That's, I like to drink and drive. I don't mean drinking alcohol, I drink a glass of milk when I'm behind the wheel. You know why I really like milk? It's white and tasty and smooth like milk. Milk drinking always gets me ready for some action. Now I'm sending off my milk rhymes to the next rapper. Boy, I want some milk, but I am of the ilk 
research that says that eating animal products is unethical, including ducks. But I have an idea for how to drink milk <laughs> ethically. I'm done with the almonds and the oats and that other shit from a tree. I went to the grocery store and camped out of the milk aisle. It wasn't long until I saw a woman pick up some twos and walk and put her on trial. I lunged for her and clamped my teeth around her areola. I sucked some milk and I said, hey, and she said, Hey, what the? I said, you see, I'm a vegan, and this is what they do to cows to get the milk that you are buying, so now don't you want to frown? It's unethical to buy milk, I said, between sucking. Human milk is pretty gross, but hey, I'm lucky, because I'm just being ethical, giving people what comes to them. The woman said, that's not how being vegan works, ahem. Then I said, nuh uh, and killed her son because I am vegan. In the dairy industry, they kill calves, and that's how they get them to lactate, so thank you. I work at a milk factory in the inner city. We ship cows in from all over the county. Me and my homies, they call us the milk boys. Milking all day, but I'd rather drink soys and almond milks because they're better for the animals. I love cows, but I would never admit that to my superiors. I'm supposed to treat them like the machines they glean, where flesh combines with metal I can't perceive. I hear deep down, it's not just milk they're making. Within the bowels of the warehouse, it's poison they're baking. And not just the methane all these cows produce, choking them as they can't escape the refuse. Well, I have a suspicion that this factory is a cover. Why ship cows far away from the grass and clover? I found a dead cow with purple beans once in the stacks. In other news, I really like this band called Anthrax. You can call me Ryan Vostaway. I'm taking all this milk in me. I'm dying for it. Lots with every milk at the meal that they make. You see, pour it in a cup or you can pour it in a gallon jug. Fill up a tub. Or any amount, I'll take a challenge up. Ask me why I'm breaking all this milk I lay my eyes on. But I'm telling you, the story is surprising. Speaking of surprise, that's the town's name. The place that I learned that drinking milk is in the game. There was an old Old oak tree who always told the truth. They told me I should daily drink two glasses of milk. They never chop the tree down. It'll always be around. But it never says anything else. I kinda hate that town. But I love drinking milk. A glass of milk at every meal. You won't believe how good you feel. Okay, let me just show you what it's gonna be like to. Okay, so it's gonna be like, and I'm gonna be like, three, two, one, go. And now then... the Grinch is still on Christmas, so what's next? Life has been pretty dull since that direct, so the Grinch just has his time to steal another holiday. He gets a calendar and hops on his own Christmas sleigh. There's a holiday called National Show Until Your Work Day, did you know that? The Grinch has to work to steal that sket. First he steals the concept of work. Now the world is like r slash anti-work. Then he steals staplers. Some people see some people like to bring staplers to show and tell about work day. So the Grinch steals staplers. Now National Show and Tell Your Work Day is no more. The Grinch sits down to make a snore. His life has meaning again. He's still another beautiful holiday. Now you know the story of how the Grinch stole National Show and Tell at Work Day. You weren't supposed to start yet. I was like, I didn't know that. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green. A I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green a I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green a I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green a The Grinch is a movie that was made in the 1960s, but when I hear people talk about the Grinch, I know there's something missing. Usually they're talking about the live action film from 2000, but in my household this film is not what Christmas is about, and we only watch the cartoon movie where he is not Jim Carrey. I did not like his design in that one because he looks scary. I did not like the scene where the mayor kisses a dog's butthole. Whoever wrote that scene will look in their stocking and they'll find coal. Also, there's a newer Grinch cartoon made by Illumination. Can't even say the cartoon one for people to know what I'm saying. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green a I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green a The Grinch, he sucks because he's green. He's much too green for my infected spleen. I ate green once and it made me sick. Green is the color of every ick. You can call it Verde if you want to be Spanish. 
But if you like green, then you'll like the Grinch. The Grinch. The Grinch. He ate too much spinach. The color green is the color of a pinch. The Grinch. That bench. He hate Chris Minch. But the problem is that he's much too Grinch. The Grinch. The Grinch. He's really mean. To turn into him, Jim Carrey had to be green. Eight hours worth of makeup drove the man insane. Just like me if I had green on the brain. Green is the color of the evil woman's head. Green is in the eyes of the envious one. Green is so, so ugly, unlike red. People who like green never have any fun. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. There's too much green down there. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. I don't like green. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. There's too much green down there. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. Hey, this is song about the Grinch. This is Stir's verse. Are you ready? Yeah, that's right, Grinch song. Okay, here we go. People say he is a mean one, but really he has a green thumb. I don't mean in the literal sense. I mean he's nice and takes care of plants. If you only saw the movies, you wouldn't know, because in all the movies the ground's covered in snow. So yeah, then he can generally be really caring and it's misunderstood, not that actually he's the bad guy. Yeah, he did steal Christmas one time, but there's something he forgot to steal of mine. The thing I'm referring to is my virginity. I want his Grinchy sperm in me. I want the Grinch to get in bed with me, because the Grinch is really sexy. I want to see his fuzzy hole and eat his 39 and a half foot pole. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. <laughs> I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. I'm Grinch. I hate Christmas and I got a green ass. Yeah, I think the Grinch drinks Faygo. Is this gonna be a bit crap? No, you're great. You're a fantastic fun time at this party. Had a birthday party. I'm not too happy. Overall, it was too shabby. The DJ was awful immediately. He just played this beat repeatedly. It sucks. They hired a clown. But I guess that day he was feeling down because he just sat on the bench and smoked. He didn't tell any jokes. None of my presents were any good. It seems like nobody understood what makes a good present. The gifts were overall unpleasant. One box just had a rat inside, which would have been kind of cool if it hadn't died. People all saying happy birthday out of key. Shabby birthday to me. This is the worst oh, birthday party I've ever been to. Three, two, one, go. A shabby birthday is what you get when you're a- Oh, fuck. <laughs> you asshole. Sorry, okay. Three, two, one, go. A shabby birthday is what you get when you're a dumb idiot who forgot when his birthday is. Now all you get for your birthday is piss. I like when you forget your birthday. Then I don't have to give you a big nice gift and instead I can direct you towards another man. And I bet that man's not as good a clown as me. Oh right, did I mention? I'm a clown, see? My relationship with the protagonist is I'm a clown, and he's my assistant who loves to watch me perform on his birthday. I guess we have pretty cool lives. Also, we're gay. But today he doesn't get a birthday because he forgot. Guess we're not gonna do the birthday frog. You were on beat for a while, and then you just suddenly stopped for no reason. Oh, really? I didn't notice. <laughs> what a drag. <laughs>
This first of all, I brought out a birthday of mine that was very shabby. When I looked in the mirror, my pecs were used to walk hard muscles were flabby. And since it was my birthday, I had to entertain guests coming over, so I didn't have enough time to pump iron on the, on the treadmill. At the party, I wanted to get out my Nintendo DS and play on it so I could play Super Mario Brothers. But since I was the host, I had to stay out in the kitchen with the others. There was a magician at the party doing some tricks with a hat on his head, but I much would have preferred if he was a funny clown doing tricks instead. Also on that day, the power in the house went out and the toilet paper almost ran out. And I actually changed, accidentally changed my computer wallpaper to a picture that was really lame. And my shoelaces on my shoes came undone, so I had to tie them again. Great. I didn't enjoy this. This wasn't a good party. No. I'll work on it for next year. Why are these beats all so fucking slow? Alright, I guess it's my turn to go. I went to a shabby birthday yesterday. I had to ride my unicycle the whole fucking way. 70 miles in the rain. When I got there, the cake was made out of cellophane. A cheapo was hosting this party. And the kid whose birthday it was, was a smarty. She kept cracking jokes at everyone's expense. She made fun of me for only having six pence to spend on my outfit that I showed off for her. I came to your birthday, now get off my fur. The streamers were torn, the confetti was brittle. The presents were for some reason covered in spittle. The children there were all rich, not nosed freaks. I mean, I make six figures a year, but who are they to speak my clothes for? Really, if you ordered verse for the song Shabby Birthday, what would it be about? Well, the other day it was my birthday and everyone forgot. And I tell you what, I think they can all go around. There, yeah, there was one time where I did have a birthday and I invited a bunch of people and only one person showed up. So probably that. It was a shabby birthday, but it wasn't too bad. In fact, I think because my friend came, she made me a little bit more rad. <laughs> No, I think that made it worse, because then I think she told the people, like, at school, like, haha. No told her it was cool. She was the only friend I had, and then that made me very much extremely mad. Kevin, you don't want to be part of this project? You're a natural. Break now. You should just, like, take all the snippets of him rapping through his streams and put it in there. Oh, dude, I'm going to clip this right now and download it. What the fuck? <laughs> dude. I'm literally gonna I'm literally gonna sue you if you do that, Mustard. So the song is about ghosts? No, it's called Graveyard Golf. Graveyard <laughs> 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 Golf. Okay, let me know when to start. It's not about ghosts, it's called Grave the song is called Graveyard Golf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Okay, start now. Ghosts are really, really scary. One time I saw a ghost, and now I'm Harry. A ghost is when someone dies, and then they turn into a weird guy, and I'm not sure what makes a ghost a ghost. I wonder if a ghost like to boast about how good they are at graveyard golf. Things like this are really intriguing. Lol. There are lots of things to wonder about. Can a ghost fit in a bendy straw? Can you see a ghost if you eat your meat raw? If you don't like ghosts, then will you turn into coleslaw? Ghosts are really, really scary. One time I saw a ghost, then I saw Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Prince. That movie had a ghost in it. Yeah, the song is supposed to be about graveyard golf. <laughs> This is what golf. This is a fucking It's a real golf hole in a real cemetery, complete with a sand trap, green, ball cleaner, even a leaderboard. It's a real golf hole in a real cemetery, complete with a sand trap, green, ball cleaner, even a leaderboard. It's a really great idea to play golf inside a graveyard. Usually when I play golf, the game is way hard. The ball missed the hole by only like an inch, then a hand popped out of the dirt and pushed it in. Thanks dude, that's a hole in one. Mini golf in a cemetery is just more fun. The green is stained red with the blood from dead bodies. Call up all your buddies every week for golf parties in a graveyard. The Dimensions Edge Incorporated does not promote or condone playing miniature golf in a real graveyard as it would be disrespectful and likely illegal. <laughs> It was Halloween night, so I went outside to the river to release my werewolf hide, grow fur all over my butt-butt. Then I break out the putter, cause it's time for putt-putt. 
Graveyard golf, yeah, everybody's swinging. Our clubs better steer clear of the tombstones. If the G fell off the sign, then everyone would be singing in the club underground far beneath the dead bones. But we're playing golf, cause we're kind of lame. But my friends really make it, and Betty won't. A vampire and a mummy, they play for shame. Tryhards on the green, they left me smoked. My little red ball ran into a spider. She kicked it with each of her eight feet, which left me eight feet from the hole. I was so close to my graveyard golf hole. It's a real golf hole in a real cemetery, complete with a sand trap, green, ball cleaner, even a leaderboard. It's a real golf hole in a real cemetery, complete with a sand trap, green, ball cleaner, even a leaderboard. Driving in a golf cart looking for the next hole. 500 par is my goal. It might be kinda hard, but I'm just here to chill out and play a round of golf in the graveyard. Here's the uh, ball is on the tee. Air is full of fog I can hardly even see. Hit it real hard, I then get landing on the green, but the caretaker, he was really, really mean. He told me to leave and said I can't play golf here, but this game's important, because I almost beat my best score. Time to putt, and the green's a bit bumpy, so on the ball I like its trajectory. So on kind of flowers in the way, so it's tricky. I then just going in to make it whoopee, but a crow swooped down and took my ball in its mouth. My whole graveyard golf game went south. Took a dive for the south. It's a real golf hole in a real cemetery, complete with a sand trap, green, ball cleaner, even a leaderboard. We were headed for the car and we saw the lights flashing, the pigs blew up in front and we prepared for action. I got my 12 gauge sawed off, I got my headlights turned off, I'm about to bust some shots off, I'm about to dust some cops off. F the police. To be clear, I want it to be known that I do not like cops. I went to a protest late last year. To begin, I put on my protest gear. I got it all clean and ready and fluffy because I was ready to show off my lack of support for cops. My protest gear, by the way, is a fursuit. I am going to a furry protest against cops. My persona is a dragon named Fuselage Star Honey. She is a dragon airplane hybrid. She has green skin and lovely engines and adorable purple <laughs> and adorable purple specks below her eyes. She has green dragon wings and a sparkly tail that I had to pay extra for from the fursuit builder. Fuselage Star Honey is the best dragon persona. She was born on a distant planet. I do not like cops. Why is it green and purple? I got my 12 gauge sawed off. I got my headlights turned off. I'm about to bust some shots off. I'm about to dust some cops off. F the police only if they ask nicely. So if you say please, then we can smash nightly. Actively boning these pigs, getting skins. I'll see a cop, ask, hey, where have you been? Get the handcuffs out and keep off the blue light. Do Mounties count as cops? I'll screw Dudley do right. I'm like the grump how much I do pigs. Code 6 I'm officer, then we can smoke a few cigs. On my mattress. On my mattress. Saw some cops. I'm about to bust. Oh, oh, oh. I'm good. F the police. All my homies hate them. If you listen, then one star you should probably rate them. I hate British people because I'm American. If that guy was an Englishman, he would be an alien. Every breath you take, more like that sting. Guy is a snake. Oh my god, more like, oh my god, this band sucks. If I was married to him, all my vows I would break. I'd only date that guy for his many bucks. Synchronicity, one more like these songs are poly songs. Synchronicity, two more like synchronicity. Who? Miss Gradanko, more like Miss Christanko. T in the Sahara, more like P in the. Uh, toilet. We get it to blink. Well, like I regret uh, what I paid for this album because it's so lame. I'll send out an SOS to anyone who can take it away. King of Pain? Well, actually, that one's pretty accurate. If it's describing my ears when I hear these bars, these people don't know how to write lyrics. Listen to me when I write mine. I always write my lines every time. I can't, I can't, I can't stand their music. CD of the police, I'll never ever use it. The only good part of this band is Stuart Copeland. That's because he made the music for Sparrow the Dragon. One time I tried listening to the police on my stereo, 
Well, did they hear anything good? The answer is no. That's because there was a police album, so it sucks. F the police, they can all suck my butt. Let me uh, give you a sample of some of the uh, lyrics. No. I won't do to you here with the police CD did to the intense dismay of my friends. Let's just say their music is a load of garbage mixed with a little bit of disappointment and a little bit of regret for the people who listen. Police. Police. Born in the 50s? You play more like you were born in 1910 if you asked me. Got a big problem, big, big, big problem. Got a, got a big problem, big, 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 big problem. Got a big problem, got a big, big problem. Got a, got a big problem, big, 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 big. I got a big problem. It started with an elf. He sold me a gator for about a twelve of the carrots I have in my garage. For the horse that I'm trying to train for dressage. Now I have a gator trying to feed him all the rats But my mom is coming over and she gets in these spats Where she blames me for my house crumbling down Lady, I don't need that crap when my basement is about to drown The gator's down there now, but he ain't drinking nothing He's got rats to eat, but he keeps eating the couch stuffing The jello molds are starting to fall from the roof and the landlord is asking about my insurance proof My girlfriend's coming over, she says she owns a zoo But I told her I'm 60 and I'm only 32 She thinks she's dating a gilf, what am I to do? And also, my house is all full of gator poo kid was owing me some cash, so I met him and he had a way to get it back fast. He had a basketball that said he wanted to play a horse, but I wasn't interested in his little games of course. I slapped the ball all off his hands and said, where is my money? He picked it back up and said, don't worry man, it's coming. I got up in his face and said, what do you mean, where is it? He said, the money's coming man, just give me five minutes. I said, that doesn't cut it, now you got a big problem. I reached into my back pocket and put out my shotgun. Pressed the silver barrel on his face between his eyes. Just hand over the money or you'll have to say goodbye. I guess I spoke too loud because I attracted attention. Another guy was walking by and played Good Samaritan. He jumped on my back and dragged me to the cops. And now I'm stuck in jail for all my life from ground to rot. Got a big problem, and that problem is I don't have enough piss. When I piss, I get really feeling that I'm not really peeing. And I do not drink that much water, and this does affect my bladder. It's a big problem. <laughs> Stop laughing, I can't. And then I need to drink if I want to be able to link my game voice together to play competitive Tetris. That is a problem because my mom said if I don't play competitive Tetris she'll burn my bed. My mom likes competitive Tetris a lot. I guess I guess you could say that she's a bad person. I have a big problem. I wish I didn't. If I didn't have a big problem, I wouldn't have been on that auction in which I lost a lot of money, which is a big problem. It's a big problem that I'm running out of good song topics. Some of the ideas I have will be a flop. It's things like Pizza Quest, handwriting, Halloween rats, fifth grade, mouse trap, read the map, wacky facts, 420, sim corner filmography, surprise, giving blood, five stars, spider story, loving gold, graveyard golf, daily routine, see it in the dark, and F the police. You might hear some of these songs on the album, but as of writing this verse, I think the ideas are all dumb. Got a big problem, don't have any good beats. Got a big problem with the way you're looking at me. You've got 
a big problem? Well, I don't believe you. You say it's real, but it don't affect me too. What about it do you want me to do? I can't be like you and just sit here and stew. You've got a big problem, but it doesn't affect me. Maybe in a few hundred years, we'll see. But even then, I can't imagine not being able to. Just suck it up and deal with it. So here and now, why can't you? Got a big problem, but it's all in your head. I refuse to believe this problem might make you dead. If you're the one killing yourself, why should I care? Why should I bother? If you're the one tearing out your hair to fix yourself, there's only one plan. Forget about it all, and listen to the man. It's a problem you made up. It's up to you to choose whether you want this problem to make you lose. Frog Dad goes like... Doo -doo -doo. I'm a frog dad. I'm a frog dad. I'm just hopping around because I'm a frog dad. I spend most of the day chilling on my lily pad and taking care of my three frog children. Go, Fred, and Buck are their names. And I love them. When you run out of food, I go to the frog store. And then we aren't out because they have more. We play frog board games on the frog weekend. Sometimes you stay up late until a frog past 10. In the lake around here, I'm known as the top frog. When I'm hopping here to there, I never miss a log. Catching flies in my tongue like I'm a ninja. If you aren't a frog, then I can't hang with you. Yo, dad, turn it off and rapping. <laughs> turn off that noise. This is one take. You can't do more than one take. Turn that down. What? Catching flies with my tongue like I'm a ninja. If you aren't a frog, then I can't hang with you. Frog dad isn't always as easy as you thought. Like when I'm doing frog crimes and get caught. Yeah, that's right. I'm a criminal at night. Just cause I'm a dad, it doesn't mean I can't be tight. I'm down with my homies and it's never gonna end. Wanna know when my verse is finished? I'll tell you when. As right now. Frog dad, you might be frog dads have in common is that they're frogs and they're dads let me tell you about this guy i know frog dad he's got a frog dad box so other frogs are down bad he hops around and gets on the floor to get down when he opens his mouth you will hear a sick sound a cool croak noise and it sounds like vivid this guy's too cool for a frog exhibit he should be free, and that he is. He made six kids with his frog penis. Every morning, he hops out of bed and thinks about the things his frog children said. How they love him and think he's a really cool dad. Frog dad, frog dad, he's the best dad. They're probably male, but really who knows? There's a lot of different people. I mean frogs out there. Everyone is different. We're not the same, and some of us are frog dads. My dad is a frog. My dad is a frog. My dad is a frog. But this isn't very wrong. Why? Because I'm also a frog, silly. Frogs have frog dads. That's how the world is, really. I mean, I assume he's a frog. I never even met him. Oh yeah, when were you aware? Frogs weren't really a form of hair in which to raise their young. I came from a sack of eggs left in a puddle of cum. So I don't know my frog dad and my frog mom too. I guess I never thought of it until now. Never had a frog dad to be my pal. We didn't throw a ball and catch it with our tongues. That kind of thing just isn't how our cultures run. Maybe tomorrow I'll get eaten by a bird. Who fucking knows? The world's a big frog dad turd. Frog dad is my dad. Frog dad is your dad. Frog dad is his dad. Frog dad is their dad. What do you know? Frog dad knows. What do you say? Frog dad does. What do you think? Frog dad likes. What do you think? Frog dad is... My dad is Dracula and also a frog. He said hop hop and then bit a log. My dad's spit tastes just like lime. I like to freeze and eat it sometimes. If my dad's a frog, am I a frog too? I don't want to be a frog. What do frogs even do? My dad was a frog, but my mom was a spider. They bonded over eating flies for dinner. Me, I prefer a Katie did myself. But sadly, we only keep flies on the shelf. My dad is a frog.
he lives in a bug. I don't see him much every weekend or such. My dad turned into a frog, so my mom divorced him. She only likes princes, so after that, of course, then they split up, leaving him alone in the dust. But he only did that after she kissed him once. My dad is a frog, he jumped into some water. A chef started turning the heat up higher and higher. He never jumped out. I don't know why. Guess he took that secret with him when he died. I have a frog dad. A frog dad, not a craw dad. I wish my dad was anything but a frog dad. A frog dad is what you get when you're a frog. If you're not a frog, you probably don't have a frog dad. Because frog sperm typically can't mix with other eggs. But hey, I don't know your life, so go on the way you've been. Don't let me stop the life you've had. If you have a frog dad and you like it that way, that's okay. I'm not here to get in your way. I already said way, but that's okay because this is a song. It's about frog dad. He's not judgmental because he's a frog. What can a frog possibly judge about you? Maybe he doesn't like the way you sing. Maybe he doesn't like the way you hop. Maybe he thinks you're inferior because you have eyelids, but I don't think so. I think Frog Dad is not judgmental. I think he can accept everyone the way that I accept him. This song is for kids, that is what the song is called. The song was not made for kids, kids listening would be appalled. We rap about things kids shouldn't hear, like how I'll stab you in the rear. Watching TV, drinking beer, it should not enter children's ears. Coming right back at you with an angry rant. Kirby right back at ya, I fucking can't. These Americans always screwing up the worst animes, assigning weird VAs for the day-to-days. -day I guess I can't blame them for everything bad, but the state of the dubs they make really is sad. I mean that s cargoon, what a fag. I can say that because I'm a tranny lad. Oh, you think I'm grown just because of the voice? No need to compliment me, this voice ain't a choice. I know I sound grown up, but let me assure you, a child is reviewing this anime for you. I'm one of four kids rapping on this album. At least that's what we say so that we can sell them. So which of us are adults and which are children? I ain't telling, you'll just have to fill in. After nightfall, and see yourself standing by a demon from hell. That's what they warned us all at summer camp, but some other kids said that's full of crap. At first, I didn't want to go, I wasn't an explorer. But when I thought about myself, I kind of wanted more. To get myself out there, see what I'm missing. So later, me and the others snuck out during fishing. We all together made a plan to leave the place, to go deep into the woods and see what creatures we would face. After the rest of the campers went to sleep, then Five of us would open up our tents for sneaking. The day goes by at camp, there are many activities. When it's time for bed, I'm really sleepy. Soon enough, I fell asleep and missed out on the trip. During morning roll call, our group is missing four kids. Pokemon is going great. Team Rocket Jesse is flopping around on the screen at 1 minute 8. She's wearing a bikini and I'm like, oh yes please, but something is up with her chest. Let me see. Oh, it's four kids. Let me explain. In the original... <laughs> you like doing baseball? In the original broadcast, the animators drew a line on the character's chest indicating breast <laughs> As a person attracted to Team Rocket Jesse, I appreciate this detail. But the American, <laughs> but the American localization company Forkit sent it off the rail. They said that line in her chest represents the female breast, so they erased the line and forgot about the rest of the context, which is that Team Rocket Jesse is hung, and I should have a line there. I wouldn't have sung this song about how Forkit is dumb and bad. I like Team Rocket Jesse. She doesn't have to be flat. Okay. Locked in a dungeon. 
a deep, dank dungeon full of diabolical voodoo hits. Even the rats were afraid to come out of the drains to feast on the dead. Here's an introduction. Welcome to the dungeon. Before you stay, you should know that this place is one function to make sure that you have the most bad time possible. If you could wipe that smile off your face, it'd be optimal. We're gonna string you up with chains and rats will eat your toes. The temperature is cold with ice dripping from your nose. That's the dungeon difference. We'll always keep this promise. You won't find any apples, but you'll always find rodents. You see that flaming cage in the middle of the room? If it's dark enough, monsters will come out to consume any part of you that they see fit for consumption. That's what you get if you're visiting the dungeon. Don't kick back or relax because you'll probably die here. The minimum time of a stay is like a year. So get ready for a super duper unpleasant experience. We'll treat you poorly, that's the dungeon difference. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. The dungeon difference is our slogan. It describes how our hotels run here at our hotel. You stay in a dungeon. That's our thing. A dungeon is not supposed to be accommodating. The way that we fulfill that is... A guy is in the bed near you! In normal hotels, you get a bed, that's true. But in our dungeon, the guy is there. And with him, you'll feel all the air. Because he takes your blanket away. You'll have no blanket, cause you're gay. He keeps the blanket in his butt. You will be here till you rot. That's how we deliver the dungeon difference to you. We guarantee you'll want to shoo this big butt gay guy away, but you can't. Enjoy your stay. Dungeon, 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 dungeon. dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. I know you've probably seen a dungeon or three, but the difference in this dungeon is it's all about me. I have three other friends that help run this dungeon too, but they aren't the reason why you came here, do you? I've got birds that fly and no view of the stars. I've got weird old men that stick their hands through the bars. I've got stairs that appear and disappear. I've got all of your dungeon needs right here. I've got slopes to slide down quick as a wink. I've got blood on my hands, but no need for a sink. I like it messy here, and I like the rotten stink. Dead bodies of little marsupials, it makes you think. This is the greatest dungeon, because I work here. I'm the best dungeon runner this side of the west. If you don't like it, let me make something clear. No one cares just what you professed. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. Hey, are you looking for a dungeon? I got one you can use if you pay me something. You can lie on the stones and stay the night. You can stay longer if you like. I don't go down there too often. The rats out there do fine without me. You wanted a dungeon to crash in? What do you say? Make yourself at home. Maybe you're not used to living below ground. Dungeons aren't as warm as a lot of houses are. Because of the stones and a bit of the steel. But you can stay here days in a row, flat price to steal. The cell just for you won't be a bother. If you outgrow that one, I can give you another. It's safe in there, strong walls, no need to be tense. You spend your whole life undisturbed, that's the dungeon difference. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon.
in the dungeon. Locked in the dungeon. The people enjoyed each other's company so Locked in the dungeon. That they'll be together forever now. Locked in the dungeon. We've thrown them all into a big pit. Locked in the dungeon. And piled tons of rocks on Locked in the dungeon. A fitting end, we trust you'll agree. That's the dungeon difference, yes. Robots. 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 One of my favorite robots is Robotron, not the video game. Robotron 2000 is the name of a feast pop song. If you think that song's bad, then you would be wrong. He has a soothing robot voice, but my all-time favorite is a tough choice. The natural parents have a Roomba named Skynet, which I'm quite partial to yet. One time he chewed up my laptop charger. My favorite robot is probably larger. Considering the parenthetical in this album's title, there are some robots who are somewhat vital to mention, and that is Bonnie, Freddy, Fazbear, Chica, and Foxy from the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Most other robots are kind of lame compared to these robots. I'd also like to give a shout out to Cambot, GPC, Tom Server, Pro, Robot L-Type, the Computer X from the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Bad Movie, and the robot that chases the guy on TV in that one episode of Spongebob Squarepants. Cut man. Cut man. Be my little slut man. God, I wanna fuck man. Chop me up into pieces and eat my guts, man. He's so pathetic, he makes me want to scream. When he loses his weapon, I start to dream. Someday I want him to do my circumcision. When I'm deep inside him, then we can get to scissoring. Iceman, he can come freeze my balls and then lick them like two popsicles. Call Heat Man over to light my cigarette after I nut in his mouth. The heat will make me bust faster. Here's where my fantasy is cut off, though. The coldness of the steel makes cuddling robots. And no, the problem is this man is too hard. When I'm Big Spoon, he's so heavy, he crushes my arm. is a movie from 2005, so if you're under 18, then you weren't alive yet. But now that you're born, you can watch it. I heard it's a decent movie with a hot script. That was written by Chris Wedge, who wrote other movies, but not Over the Hedge. Robots is a science fiction adventure comedy film that is featuring the various and famous people like Robin Williams, who is the genie from Aladdin. Anyway, time to talk about the robots and all of them. There's this red guy who I think is Robin Williams, and the big round guy with the big room of dominoes. I haven't seen the movie since it came out, so I'm looking at Wikipedia for more info, no doubt. Robots in total is 90 minutes long, that's like 20 times the length of this song. Robots is a film from 2005. I wonder if anyone is what enough to rap about this movie. To confirm the year I had a look see it, it says there's another film with the same name. Released in 2023, it's about Elaine, who is a gold digger. Oh, oops, you don't want to rhyme that. Robots is a movie that I watched when I was small. I watched the same masterpieces while you all bitches said gotta catch them all. I like the animated film Robots. That means I'm better than you, since Pikachu is more like a pile of poo. As, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I only care about robots. The animated film from 2005, that's the us. I graduated from college, top of my class. Why? Because I watched robots when I was a lass. Because watching robots just makes you better. And if I put it on for the ladies, it makes them wetter. So if you didn't watch robots as a kid, forget about success. Me, I can freely say that under duress, that I am very smart and great and cool. Thank you, Robots 2005, what a great. Good watch. Was I on beat at all? And it felt hard. I felt like I didn't know what I was saying. Soapbox, think about if you're a robot, so what? No, you wouldn't have your own thoughts programmed into you. What you should do, put two and together, could you? Feel no pain if someone waltzed in and knifed you. You would have fewer flaws than I do. But as a machine, you wouldn't have any freedom. Dreams and aspirations, just an algorithm.
This is a song about how keys can unlock doors. Why? Why do we need to say that? Since I got a really wide key ring, I can unlock doors like it ain't a thing. Because, in case you didn't know, keys have the ability to unlock doors. If there's a door you want to unlock, you put a key in its slot. Then you turn it, maybe clockwise, or sometimes it's counterclockwise. I like keys that are really cool because they are a useful tool. A tool that turns locked doors into unlocked ones, and doors that are unlocked are very fun. I unlocked the door to the car in my garage. I unlocked the door to Great Wolf Lodge. I unlocked the door to my grandma's house. I unlocked the door to Obama's The White House. I unlocked the door to Pizza Hut. I unlocked the door to your mama's butt. And the reason I can unlock all of these is because I carry lots of keys. Keys are used to unlock doors. 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 Oh man, I fucking hate locked doors. Just driving around the hub never pays, cause there's always a door standing in my way. Try to get to the next world, but it ain't that easy. But there's a trick that I have when I need to get to Baron. One boss key and that's one I ain't sure. And when I drive up with that key to the door, it just floats over there. Shit has me on the floor. <laughs> Don't even put it in myself. The game does it for me. Then I drive right through end of the story. Doors suck but keys, they're wonderful for me. Unlock the whole rest of the game with these. Phenomena, that's a wonderful thing. To get to that place, need a whole key ring. Three keys to get there, then four protect me. Keys, keys, I love them keys. Keys are used to unlock doors. 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 Using keys is very helpful, that is why I keep a shelf full. I got stacks of keys, I have all kinds of doors. I don't want to have to break in and get kinda sore. I really hurt my shoulder last time I tried that. As I get older, it's hard to deny that. You shouldn't break down every door you see. It's a lot easier if you use a key. I see you out there a lot picking your phone box. You don't even bother unlocking your own locks. It's very easy to unlock something. You only need a key, and that's just one thing. You put it in the lock and turn it. There's no reason to see a door and burn it. Just make sure that your keys aren't misplaced. If you, you, if you lose a key, it'll need to be replaced. Keys are used to unlock doors. <laughs> keys are used to unlock doors. Keys are used to unlock doors. Keys are used to unlock doors. Isn't our world fantastic? We can get in any place, then or and it's all thanks to the method of keys and doors. Without which we would all be very poor. If we didn't have doors, we'd be miserable. <laughs> okay, I can go to your house and say, they give me the border to the false crawl and ruin your day. You'd have to give up all the stuff you bought at the store. All because you didn't have a door. Keys are even more amazing when you think about it because without keys, doors wouldn't be worth shit. Doors are like special portals. Only for a special someone. If I had a key and a door, I'd make it only for a beautiful woman. Such as Team Rocket Jesse or another example. Next to keys and doors, I don't have to take a sample of the outside world and flow freely into my domain. <laughs> no sir, instead I am safe from the rain and cuddle up with my beautiful woman. Thank you, keys and doors. You are a great invention. Keys are used to unlock yeah, doors. Keys are used to unlock 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 doors.